Hey, 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 everybody. This is Hunter. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I have a very cool bunkhouse travel trailer for you. It is the 2022 Vibe 28BH, and this is a very impressive bunk model, in my opinion. It is under 6,800 pounds dry, so it's not too heavy. As you can see, you know, it is a longer camper, uh, so there is plenty of space, you know, to be moving around on those rainy days. But I love this setup. I think the bunk room is really cool. But um, yeah, again, the 2022 Vibe 28BH. Uh, I'm going to start off with a tour on the inside, then head around the outside, talk about a couple things. Probably be about a 15-minute tour. And if you guys are in the market for an RV, make sure to check the description where I'll put my cell phone there. Feel free to text me for pricing. And as always, if you guys could give me a like and subscribe, you know, I would definitely appreciate it. But you walk in and wow, this thing is looking sharp. Plenty of floor space there. I think everything gels together, you know, really nicely. It's light, it's bright, but it still has kind of your black accent pieces, you know, with the couches and all that. It's just a really, really sharp looking unit. But uh, it's a bunk model. So, you know, let's first check out this bunk room and, you know, see what it's kind of made of. First thing you're going to see, there's an option for an AC unit back here with the dump valves, which are nice. You know, you can open it up and really blast this area really quickly to cool down if you need to. On the top area, you'll see you got an emergency window to your left. So if something happens, you're nice and safe. Adds a little bit more security to the minds of those parents. And you also have another little window, you know, right here to kind of look out and enjoy the view. And you'll notice, even though it has the dump stations, it is still, you know, ducted all the way throughout. So that way you get this nice, even distribution. You know, unless you don't want it to be and you want to dump it and kind of unload it all in one spot. So you got the top bunks. Classic twin, you know, comfy little uh, little guys right there. Right down here, you have another set of bunks. And you're going to see on both sets, you got the two, you, or the two um, outlets. Outlets right there. You also have this nice ladder for the little ones to get up and in a little bit easier. And then down here, you can either remove this, use it as a couch, fold it over to fully enclose this entire area for another sleeping space if you guys have, you know, a full army of children. Right over here, you're going to also notice you have another window, and this has the blackout shade. So just about every window, except for the exception of the two that are right up here, will come with the blackout shade, which is nice. It is also another emergency exit. So it's a rainy day, you're trapped in here. This bunk bed area is a little bit small, but it does have the ability to put a TV back here. You got your outlets, your cable hookups, and then this is actually a backer for TV, so you can go ahead and mount one. You also have a little bit of storage here up above. But yeah, very cool bunk room, I think at least. You know, it really keeps people uh, sleeping where they need to, gives them enough room to do their thing. Forgot to show you down here, you got all this storage there behind this mesh so you can put, you know, some items. But it definitely gets the job done, and it allows you to have more space up here in the front, you know, where the magic happens, where the memories are made, if you're not outside. So you're going to notice you got this big couch right there. That pulls out to make an additional bed, so you can sleep another two right there. I would say that's going to be more for your adult guests. I did forget to show you, too, when you first walk in. You got this right here, this mesh as well, but look how deep that is. I mean, I'm six feet tall. My hand barely gets to about half of it, so you can really put your stowaway items, maybe a plastic tote, you know, something that gives you some access. You also have, you know, your control panel right there for all your lights, your awnings, and your slide outs. But as we're moving forward, you got your dinette right here, and this is going to be that super dinette, so it's an oversized U-shaped dinette, which is very nice not only for storage, but for seating, so you can sit down and play cards, have some dinner, but also sleeping space. You know, you drop that down, you put your cushions there. I would put maybe a couple buddies that I don't really like quite as much as the ones that are sleeping on the couch. Underneath, like I said, you got storage. It's not the roller trays, it's these totes, which I do really enjoy. But you got one set on either side. So one right here and one right there. On the slide, you're going to notice it is a super slide, so that means it is a 
you know, abnormally large slide out. What you get with that is these absolutely massive windows and check out the sides of these two or the size of these two right here. Let me go ahead and roll this up, that nightshade. I mean, look how big that is. That allows you to really see what's going on, you know, whether it's a great view or maybe people are playing out a campfire, dog running around, you know, all that good stuff. You got plenty of, uh, of viewing ability right there. Plus you can put the shades on and block out the sun from everybody else from seeing you. Give you a little up close here of this light right here. It's got this little, little mesh, which I think is looking nice as well. And that brings us to the other slide, the door side of the camper. You got your entertainment area directly across from the couch, which is always nice. This is a 50 inch TV. Love the size of that. It also comes with a little built in sound bar. So this thing can get bumping a little bit noisier than your, uh, or a little bit louder than your normal TV, you know, if you choose to be. Underneath the TV, you got a whole ton of storage right there. And again, the depth on this is absolutely phenomenal. And that right there is going to be your fuse box. So if something goes out or blows, it'll show up a little bit of a light. So that way you can see what's going on. The only thing this camper might be lacking on is counter space, but they do make up for that with the glass top stove. Uh, this is also a Furion move that here the Furion three stove top burner so very nice well-known RV brand got yourself an oven right there cook you up a pizza nice little drawer there for some pots and pans really like what they did with the backsplash here with this you know kind of this metal I think it's uh I'm not really sure what that is maybe like an aluminum I don't know your high-rise residential faucet, doing dishes, hitting them from all angles. Little drying rack right here. And you have your single undermounted uh, stainless steel bowl, which is nice, a little bit more room than some of those double sinks. Some storage right here for a garbage can and access to some plumbing, which is always nice in case you have something that's going on. And you got three of these bad boys, one, two, and three. This one's going to be the smallest of the three. But you have a little tray, you know, for some uh, forks and knives, all that good stuff. And then these two, which are both going to be a little bit larger. This would be your welcoming packet. But as you can see, plenty of depth, plenty of space right there as well. Moving up, you got the Furion hood. So you're going to have a fan and a light. The Furion microwave. Hello, everybody. Uh, I am Hunter, by the way, if you haven't watched my videos before. I uh, would love to be your guy. If you're in the market, give me a shot. Give me an opportunity to, uh, you know, smoke the competition on some price. Again, the cell phone is in the description. Little sunlight there. And you got these lights. And I do think the decor on this is looking a little sharp. You got that two-tone glass there with that little kind of grayed out, scratched out area. Looks like this customer decided to add on the Furion. That's the observation camera. I'll show you that here on the exterior. Notice I'm pointing out they have a little bit of a lip there to help things from kind of rolling around and smacking up against that glass while you're driving. But man, I'm excited for camping this year. I just hear from everybody. There are just big, bad, and beautiful campgrounds coming up everywhere because this seems to be where the money is heading. So for someone like me, you know, who grew up camping, having fun, you know, that's just super exciting. There's going to be some big backing of money coming into these campgrounds which is phenomenal. So this is the Furion refrigerator. It's more of a residential style. It's the 12 volt, uh, you know, which is nice. You don't have to worry, you know, about things getting warm there on those super hot days. It'll actually keep your ice cream, you know, super solid back there. Your frozen's actually frozen, which is always a plus. Did forget to point out too, you have a couple outlets right there. A couple more outlets down here. This is gonna be your controls you know, for your, your heat and your AC. And this is going to be your bathroom. This is kind of like the shotgun style where you walk through into the bedroom. You're going to have a window. You got some counter space to put all your little bathroom doodads on. Good size sink. A couple more outlets. And right here, you got yourself a, a mirror. It's in travel mode. So right here is a little hinge. You just unhook that. 
But yeah, you know what you put there. Maybe some deodorants. Some other smell good stuff. I don't know. To the right of the shower, you got yourself a little cubby for some additional storage. Again, the depth on that, you know, is pretty nice. Every one of these storages seem to go back pretty far. Six feet tall and I can't even touch the end. Got the little octopus hanger right there for your towels. And then you got yourself the shower. It's a good size shower. You can move around. I'm six foot, 300 pounds. I can get in there, roll around, clean off. No problem. Foot flush toilet. Pretty common for RVs. And that brings us into the bedroom. You got yourself a queen bed with a lot of these little storage totes here underneath. Uh, kind of helps you, you know, organize everything. All right, so you're going to have some outlets down here on this shelf. And then on both sides, so here and there, you're going to have some places where you can put, you know, some hanging items. Get more than just maybe a campground, maybe a, maybe a week's worth of clothes or something in here. This goes all the way across to that other closet. And then right here, I'm going to zoom in. There's a little cubby back there, so that way you can put you know, your CPAP or whatever you might need. You're also going to notice, let me see my finger, that's USBs and outlets. And that's going to be the same on both sides. There also is a light that you can click on, you know, above each for a little nighttime reader. But that about wraps up. Oh, here, hold on. Outlets and cables here. So that way you can put, you know, TV up against this wall as well. And also this window is your emergency exit window, you know, as well. But that wraps up the inside portion of this tour. Again, it's the 2022 Vibe 28BH. And if you guys made it this far, I would love if you could uh, drop a comment, like, subscribe. Please, dear God, text me, buy from me. I'd love that. I got a baby to feed. And, uh, you know, I like to feed her well. That'd be nice. That'd be real nice. That'd be special. All right, so walking out here, the couple things that stand out to me. One, this light, bright exterior. Not only does it look sharp, but it helps keep the inside a little bit cooler, you know, with reflecting that sun. It's also got two ACs up top. Don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah, it's got two of those bad boys up there. Massive awning. Look how big that thing is. It looks like to me, it's gotta be about 18 feet, I would guess. Up top of my head, I will put the specs there in the description. You got your dual axles and they have the wide stance axles, which is very nice to have when you're driving down the road. Maybe you hit a speed bump, you know, right here and it doesn't just dum dum dum, you know, kind of hit them both at the same time. It makes sure that there's always, you know, two or three, if there's a pothole, you know, on the ground at all times. Solid surface entry steps or solid entry steps, I'm sorry. Your marine grade outside speakers, believe it or not, a lot of RV brands are actually moving away from the exterior speakers. So having this is a bonus. Again, believe that or not, it is crazy that they're getting rid of those in some of these brands. Blows my mind. Cable outlets. You can put a TV out here. You also have your Greystone exterior kitchen. This is going to be one of those compact ones. You got yourself a stovetop, a little kind of portable sink right there. And then you got yourself a hot point mini refrigerator, 24 cans of apple juice fit in there. No problemo. And to button this up, all you got to do is push it in. Bada bing, bada boom. You also have a spray port right there as well, hooked up to a little bit of water. All right, so coming around the front side, you have this pass-through storage, which is very nice. You know, it also shows off that aluminum construction of the Vibe, one of the better built travel trailers, you know, for its price point for sure. They even put a finishing, um, what do you call that, vinyl, you know, down there, which is nice. Just a nice little added touch. It's not just your, your wood board down there getting banged up and torn up. So you got that around the front. I didn't turn them on because I'm a ding dong, but you do have a strip of LED lights right there. You got your power tongue jack. These slides, they are prepped for your slide toppers. Those will run you $700 a piece. 
But if you're not familiar with those, it's basically an awning that stretches from here to here across the width of your camper to keep debris, you know, off the top from landing. Your city water connection, your black tank flush, and your outside shower. So you can get a little bit of water pressure there, clean off. You know, those kiddos like to run around and get a little dirty. You know, spray them off out there with the cold water. So on the inside portion of the tour, when I opened up that cabinet in the kitchen, I said there's the Furion S-Vision. This is right here. They all come prepped for an observation camera. You get a four and a half inch screen. That way you can see, you know, what is going on behind you with different distance markers. Uh, makes for a little bit of a safer, easier drive. You're also going to have a bumper with a spare tire, which is always nice. This is a fully walkable roof. You're welcome to get up there and do some maintenance. But uh, yeah, I think that about wraps this up. Again, this is the 2022 Vibe 28BH. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. My name is Hunter. Have a good night. See ya.